Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be the first in a series swatching out the entire Schmincke Horodam range. Well, it's the full series, but without the super granulating paints. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be swatching the yellows and oranges. And first up, we have titanium yellow. Uh, this one is made from PY53. So all these swatches are coming from the dot card, so it might take a bit of effort to get enough paint on the brush. I've tried Da Vinci's version of this pigment, and this one seems a bit weaker and more delicate. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how useful it would be to me. And next we have Lemon Yellow, and this one is made from PY3. So this is the Schmincke yellow that I am most familiar with. Um, I do like the paint itself, but due to light fastness concerns, I'd probably use something else other than a PY3. Next we have cadmium yellow lemon, and it's made from PY35. Now cadmium lemons are my absolute favorite, and yeah, this one seems excellent. Uh, I'm not sure it's quite as good as the Rembrandt version that I love so much though. And next we have Chromium Yellow Hue Lemon. And it's made from PY175. I've tried PY175s from Winsor Newton, Holbein, Daniel Smith and Cotman and yeah, I found them all to be pretty good. Um, this is most likely the lemon yellow I'd choose instead of a PY3, I think. Okay, next we have vanadium yellow, and this is PY184. I've tried this pigment in a couple of other brands. Um, I think it's Roman Jamal and Van Gogh that I have. I'd say it's just as nice as the Roman Jamal and yeah, much better than the Van Gogh. It's kind of much cleaner. But then again, I guess it should be, considering the price difference. And next we have Cadmium Yellow Light, and it's made from PY35. Yeah, it looks like a very good Cad Yellow Light to me. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot more to say about it than that. And next we have Pure Yellow, and this is PY154. So I don't think I've ever really used this color in my palette. Um, for some reason, I don't tend to like middle yellows. I tend to go for like a lemon yellow and maybe a PY150 or a Queen Gold. I guess if I was gonna have just one yellow in my palette, then this might be a good choice. And the final paint on this top row is Oriolin Hue, and it's made from PY151. I'm not sure how it compares to the genuine Oriolin. I think it's PY40. Yeah, I've, I've never used it, but yeah, this is a really nice paint. Okay, now moving on to the second row, we have Cadmium Yellow Medium. And again, it's PY35. It's hard to think of much to say about cadmium yellows, really. Um, all the brands that I've tried seem to be great. I think a commenter said on a previous video of mine that they've never met a cadmium yellow that they didn't like. Okay, next we have chromium yellow hue light. Uh, this is the first multi-pigment paint that we've got here. Uh, it's made from a mix of PY153 and PY155. Yeah, both of these pigments are completely new to me. I had to double check and then triple check that I had the pigments right because I was sure that PY153 was discontinued years ago. But it seems that, yeah, they are the right pigments. I guess Schmincke must have a secret stash still. 
Okay, next up is Transparent Yellow, PY150. I've grown to like this pigment quite a bit over the last few months. I think I've tried the Rembrandt, Winsor Newton, Da Vinci and the Daniel Smith versions and all of them are pretty good. Um, on first impression I'd say this one isn't quite as nice as those four but then again I am just painting this from a you know a tiny dot off a dot card. And next we have Turner's Yellow and it's made from PY216. Uh, this is a paint that's been recommended to me by a few people in comments, so I've been quite eager to try it. Um, it's definitely an interesting paint. Um, yeah, I think I've, I'm going to get a hold of some at some point and try it in an actual painting. Uh, next is Quinacridone Gold, and it's made from PY150 and PR101. And my favourite quinacridone gold hues are usually a mix of PY150 and PO48. Yeah, but this one is very nice though. And next we have chromium yellow hue deep. And it's made from PY65. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of warm yellows. Um, I'd usually use an earth yellow or queen gold instead, but yeah, this one's very nice. I don't have any problem with it. And next up is cadmium yellow deep, which is PY35 and PO20. Yeah, it's another good cadmium from Schmincke. Um, yeah, warm yellow is not particularly my thing, but again, yeah, it's fine. And the final yellow in the range is Indian yellow. And this one's a mix of PY110 and PY154. Now, Indian yellow isn't a color I would tend to use, so I don't know if this is a particularly good one or not, but... It is very highly pigmented and lovely to paint out. Okay, moving on to the oranges, we have yellow orange and it's made with PY110. I think I remember trying this pigment a few years ago. Um, I think it was the Holbein version that I had. Yeah, I, I can't really remember if I liked it, but as I never bought it again, I'm guessing I didn't like it at the time. But yeah, looking at it now, yeah, it's okay. And next we have Cadmium Orange Light, PO20. I'm a big fan of Cadmium Yellows and Reds but for some reason I've never used a cadmium orange. Maybe it's just because oranges in general don't interest me all that much. Yeah, maybe I'll have to give one of them a try at some point. And next up is chromium orange hue. And this is PO62. I'm pretty sure I haven't tried this pigment before, but I might be wrong about that. It actually looks like a really nice orange. Um, I think I prefer it to the cadmium light, actually. And next we have cadmium orange deep, which is PO20. Yeah, very nice cadmium, I think. Uh, Again, I prefer this one to the cadmium orange light. And next we have transparent orange, which is PO71. So this is the Schmincke orange that I am most familiar with. And really, it, I always think it's such a beautiful paint whenever I paint it out. 
I mean, every time I kind of wish I could squeeze it into my palette somewhere, but I know I wouldn't use it if it was there. A few days ago, I swatched out the Daniel Smith version, the PO71, and while I think it was a bit brighter and maybe a bit more saturated, I still think this Schmincke kind of has that something special that makes me prefer it. I'm not totally sure what it is. Uh, next up is Saturn Red, which is PO64. Again, another pigment I've never tried. This one looks kind of kind of strange to me. It's like an orange. It appears to have kind of a pinkish undertone. At least to my eyes it does. I don't know. Maybe they're playing tricks on me. And next up is Cadmium Red Orange. And this is another PO20. I don't think I've ever seen a PO20 quite this red before. It actually reminds me a lot of the cadmium red lights that I like to use sometimes. Okay, and the final orange is permanent red orange. And it's made from PO62 and PR242. Wow, this one really is lovely and vibrant. I guess it's a great option if you don't like to use cadmiums, and it's much more transparent as well. Okay, so that's all the yellows and oranges painted out. And here they are in daylight when completely dry. It's really difficult to accurately capture the yellows and oranges with my camera. It's made the Queen Gold look almost brown. It is actually much brighter than it appears here though. So what do you think of these Schmincke yellows and oranges? I mean, have you got any particular favourites? For me, I wouldn't say there's anything that, you know, particularly wows me. Um, I mean, I do have some favourites here. I quite like the Cad Lemon, Oriolin, Turner's Yellow and Transparent Orange, but really yellows and oranges some of the least interesting colours for me. I'm looking forward to getting onto the blues and the earths in a few videos time. Thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye bye.